Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is part two of our Tim Hortons videos. Yeah, Tim has recently moved over to the UK <laughs> and he's spreading his wings across the country. There's one finally close enough to us to try. Yep. And in part one, we tried some of the hot savory food and some of the drinks. And this week we're gonna try the sweet stuff. So come on in and let's get some treats. We've got Timbits, 10, 20, and 50. For 15.99, I think that's pretty that good. That's quite a good deal. Look, 3,430. Yeah. That's the thing, if you live near a Tim's you and you it's your birthday at work, you could take a box of those in, yeah. couldn't you? That'd be a really good idea. And then look at these pancakes. Maple caramel and fudge pieces. Uh, fudge pancakes. This caramel s'mores donut sounds yeah. good. Apple and cherry. They like the apple and cherry here, don't yeah. they? Ooh, apple and caramel fritter donut. I feel like you'd enjoy that. I feel like I just want to go for a strawberry yeah. vanilla donut. It looks good, doesn't it? See, look, this Canadian maple's got cream in. Right, what are we going for, Al? Take two, because I wasn't recording. <laughs> I'm going to have to get these chocolate hazelnut Oreo pancakes. They just look so epic. Look how thicker than they look. $5.99, though, it's quite a lot, isn't it? You get the vanilla. Cool, let's get that. And then we yeah. have to... I don't know why it takes you back to the beginning, because, I mean, we want more donuts, don't we? I think we're going to have to get 20 Timbits. So we can share. And that gives you like a selection of Timbits. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And then... I think in Canada you get to pick though. I feel like yeah. you pick your Timbits. I wonder if you went to the the counter you could pick oh, or look, not. Oh hold on. Go back onto our thing. View my order. Customise. Oh. Change. Oh. I'm glad we saw that. I reckon we want more of the chocolate glazed. Don't you think that one looks so, so good? So maybe you could take some of the s'mores away. Hot drink. I think I've got to get a... Tim's original coffee. Yep. Small. That way you can see if you remember if it tastes yeah. the same. 2241. Whether well, we've got some to share. Yeah, it's more than our savory, but we are taking some home for our family. Look, this is brand new. Let's go okay, for it. Go for it. They're the birthday cake. These little pincers are still coming. <laughs> Enjoy that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little pinch, like, where's he going? <laughs> When Alex picked the pancakes, I was a bit like hazelnut, whatever, you know, and oh, I was yeah. like, yeah, I, I really want to try the pancakes, but oh my word, these look absolutely <laughs> epic. Ooh. They've used like a burger box and then they've just piled in a couple of really juicy, fluffy looking they pancakes. They look really fluffy and juicy. Shoved a load of cream on top, chocolate sauce and Oreos. That's incredible. And I think there's hazelnut in between the pancakes. These are definitely the best looking mm. pancakes I've ever had from a fast food. Yeah. The only place we've had them from are like McDonald's and- Mickey D's. Burger King used to have the really cute little pancake pocket things. Yeah. They were really good. So we're cracking straight in. These are really, really warm, aren't Get they? Get in that bit out, okay, what are you doing? fine, if I have to. Oh yeah, look Whoa. at that hazelnut underneath. I hope it's as good as they look and they're not dry. Mm. Man down. Man down. Is it good? Mm. I said we need to get one of those trays where people eat in their car. Yeah, oh, this is so good. What's the pancake like? The pancake is great. I think if anything, it's like the cream I don't like. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. the pancake is good. Really nice fluffy pancake, like proper American style pancake. Cheers. The whipped cream almost tastes like a marshmallow flavour. I'm so glad we had them warm. Look how fluffy and pillowy that pancake yeah. is. That's great, isn't it? Also shout out to Summer, Summer Flowers. I'm still repping my Washington, Seattle, Washington. This is literally one of the best flasks I've ever had. Is it's it? so good. Good size. Thank you, Summer. Yeah, these are great, fluffy. The hazelnut is nice. Oreo gives a little bit of crunch. Mm. Yeah, they're mm. really good. Pillowy and I fluffy. think you might have won. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Your donut looks incredible. I can't wait to try that. Would you like a sip of coffee to wash that down? I would quite like a sip of coffee. So Alex has gone for... Tim's Original Blend, which I remember trying in Toronto. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. It was okay. It's not specialty coffee. It's not in the league of like going to a proper coffee shop. Yeah. It's more like in a, is it fast food? Yeah, or like a Starbucks. And I've gone for a salted caramel latte. Mm. To me, it's like a 
you know, like a Starbucks mm -hmm. type filter. It's very just like bitter. It's very black, very bitter. Would you rather that or Starbucks? Starbucks and Tim Hortons roast their beans so much that basically all you taste is bitter. Right, it's got yeah. no other flavour to it. Obviously, if that wasn't something people like, Starbucks wouldn't do as well as yeah. it does. So if you like that flavour, then I would say this is as good as Starbucks or Costa or wherever. So yeah, it's fine. You know what's funny with this? So there's lotus crumbs on top. Yeah, can you actually I, taste that? I think there was there whipped cream, but it's just melted in because it was so hot. But it's like the crumbs have melted into the top, so it's kind of gone spongy. Really? It's really weird. The top, soggy have a bits sip, on the bottom. That's what I'm, that tastes soggy, the lotus. But mm. considering you were saying it's quite like a strong, like bitter coffee, I'm actually enjoying that. I think that's why all these coffee shops coffee is so strong because 90% of their drinks are latte are with, with a, a caramel pump with yeah, whatever that's so true. and so you need that bitterness to come, to through. come through so it's not the kind of coffee you just drink on its no. own what do you think to that then yeah because with this with the milk it's a good it tastes yeah. good and I like the caramel I'm actually yeah. able to enjoy a Tim's coffee and really that's quite a dark latte isn't it Can yeah you just see that so it's like for me to be able to be enjoying this just shows I'm a new woman and that's a small mm. I, I don't understand why you'd want anything, big, need anything it? bigger than that. Anyone else get too scared to drink out the little mouthpieces? Yeah, me, it seems like it'd be too hot. I think compared to my latte and your ice frappe, yeah. what would you go for, hot, cold? I'd go for the ice frappe. you go for the ice. ice cap. Yeah, I do think I'd probably go for the ice cap, but there's something for me. I really enjoy the hot lattes. Really? Yeah. I yeah. would say that there's no reason why that's not the same coffee I drank in. I think so. In Toronto. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's the surely same. it is, yeah. yeah. My doorknot. Doorknot. Love the little bag. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, look, do they put the jam in those? Yeah, it you looks see like little it. spots there? Yeah. Wow, it feels good. Does it feel? Yeah, and it's weighty. Weighty. It's got some weight. I think that's got some good. Is that what you like from your yeah. donut? Weighty. Like a bit of weight. Does it feel like a yeah, little like bit greasy the day? Um, a little bit. Yeah, it's, it does feel it's a bit more weighty like a for its size. And I definitely think these are little pockets of where they put the jam in because yeah. there's no hole. No external hole. Can I go for it? Yeah, go for it. Oh, oh, oh. Is there a jam right there? Hello. Jackpot. <laughs> hit the jackpot on the first go. Well, lovely. I think you would hit it every Everywhere. bite. Maybe that's why they've done it mm -hmm. like that. See, mm. you've got a pop. Loads of little pockets. Is it strawberry? I would strawberry say so. vanilla. Is it? Which is funny because I think a lot of jam donuts over here are oh, raspberry. raspberry. That's why at mm. first I was like, oh, that tastes a bit weird. But it's because it's strawberry jam and we are used to a lot of raspberry, aren't yeah. we? So what do you think to that? I like the mix of the strawberry, keeps it really fresh mm -hmm. and fruity. Mixed with the dough is nice. The icing is good. The only thing is, maybe it's like a move towards being like a little bit healthier than like deep frying everything mm -hmm. to within an inch of its life. but. I just miss the days and with the dough being really greasy. Mm -hmm. Is it's probably for the best that it's not. But I think it's it's pretty good. It was the voodoo donuts, wasn't it? Oh, we were really disappointed they, with they that. They were just kind of like almost like they've been baked, not fried. Mm -hmm. Me and I were saying like if we're going to have something like a donut, like we're not looking for a low calorie no. donut. If you're having one, have one. So it's like we would rather just have a really like delicious, greasy. Obviously, you can go a to a top over yeah. the top with sugar, but like I want sugar in my donut. Yeah. I love the icing. I love the sprinkles. The jam I wish was raspberry, but it is nice. The donut's really pillowy, but like it's missing that indulgentness. Yeah. Yeah. It's good though. It's really nice, and yeah. I think with like a latte, that's indulgent as well. So yeah. I think together the dryness and the coffee work really well, but it's not donut time. So many people agreed with us on TikTok that the voodoo donuts really aren't that good. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people from California said Blue Star. But we've also been to Blue Star and we they don't think so Blue Star was particularly good. No. And do you know who else is good here in the UK? Yeah. We have a company called Heaters Bakery. Yeah. Do donuts better here in the UK yeah. than any chain, yeah, definitely. I think. Morrison's, the supermarket, used to have the best donuts, oh, yeah. but they've changed their sugar Change now. Change the recipe, yeah. But, to um, like a more powdered. Yeah. That was but good. it's good. And like, I would enjoy it with my coffee, but it's definitely not the best one. We've got a whole box of Timbits to try. Well, not all of them. We don't have to try all Can of them. Can I feel again? Yeah. Like, that's good, isn't it? It's pretty weighty. We got the 20 pack. It's quite 
a substantial amount. I feel like 10 isn't it's that many because they're quite small. So if it's like two or three people. That's probably how they get you though because they probably know 15 would sell more than 20. Yeah. But most people will go for 20 because 10 not enough. Yeah. And like if you're taking these to like a family thing or to a work You'd thing. You want to try a couple. 20 is good. I don't know if you remember Al but... I'm actually thinking these look better than the ones we got in Canada. Were we near the end of the day or something? Because I mm, remember dry, thinking they were they? a bit dry and also they just didn't look that good. And the glaze on these looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, the glaze is really good. Sugary glaze. I think a lot of you guys said that their stuff has gone downhill. It's like everywhere. They, yeah. they don't put as much money into each thing now, do they? Yeah, because so everything, everything is goes. like lowering costs. Right, what are you going for? I think Al? I'm going to go chocolate first. I knew you would. Is this like an original? Oh. Was there an original? Yeah, an original. Oh. Mm. I thought Tim Bits were, were donut. Are they cake bites? That's like cake sponge, that. I've got the old fashioned glazed Tim Bit. I'll have to watch our video back, but I don't think I remember like loving that. That's delicious. That? Try that. It's I what? think you'll really like that. It's cinnamony. Cinnamony, sugar. It's got a really nice texture to it. And that's yeah, this looks got really outside, like, greasiness. Uh huh. Mmm, that's nice. That's definitely like a cake. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that that old good. fashioned one was so good. I like the flavour of your chocolate one, but it was just cakey. It was quite cakey. But I quite like that. Just like a little, With it's almost coffee, like a cake, but would yeah. Be nice. We've got to try find, there's a caramel s'mores. I think that's the one with that. White birthday cake, apple pie, apple fritter. What are we going for? about this one? Is that the same as that? What flavour is that? It kind of tastes like what we just had, but also not. Is that an apple fritter tip of it? Possibly, yeah. Not like a fruitiness. It's got like a moistness that an apple could have been there. It tastes like cardamom or something. Yeah, like spice, mm. spices. I think that could be apple fritter. Apple possibly. fritter. That funny shape one, they're definitely like a cruller. Oh yeah. Oh, or maybe that's the apple. Oh, it could be. We haven't got a clue. I heard if you want to become a resident in Canada, you have to be able to name the flavour of every Timbit. Not a clue, Not to a be clue. honest with you. That one there with the different stuff on, that's definitely like a caramel one. Or you think? Yeah, because yours didn't have those bits on last time. Does it taste caramelly? Because that was different. <laughs> Not really. It tastes like the chocolate one. The chocolate ones aren't good. I like them. That one was better, I think. I wish they kind of put them in separate. Yeah. And then... There's a birthday cake one here somewhere, but can you see what? Oh, oh sprinkles. You grab that out. That one that you thought was apple could have been honey because mm. that was like different texture. Is that good? Yeah. That's just a plain vanilla mm -hmm. tin bit with sprinkles on. I kind of wish it had like more of a birthday cake flavor in the batter. There's not really much difference, is no. there? It's still got that like eggnog. Egg it's like a nutmeg. Egg custard. Nutmeg. nutmeg. It's like a um, pastel donata. Mm. That's what. That's what it is. One of these oval ones must be an apple one. Try, Try that one. one. There's not enough difference no. for each Tim Tam. <laughs> Tim Tam. Tim. Tim bit. It looks like we've had them all, but yeah. we must have. Need to get them separately, so I you know. know. Oh, I guess we could have taken a photo looked what they look like but in the counter like, well that honey cruller was like that but, but they all look the same don't mm. they really mm. yeah. i like that one the ones with a bit of spice apple. i think are a bit better mm -hmm. they've got a bit more to them because the rest of them are mainly like the same tin bit just flavored on the outside i do like the chocolate one even though you don't to me it's more spongy than the mm -hmm. others almost like a cake pop i think my favorite if i'm correct is the old-fashioned glazed tin bit yeah, i think that nice. was the first one we tried yeah that was really delicious. Overall though, I feel like out of the two videos, I'm enjoying the stuff from video one more. What about I, you? I think I am too, you know, because I really like that drink. I, I really like drink my drink. The coffee, and I really liked your grilled cheese. Yeah. And the burger was good. And the fries. And all the, oh, the fries were good, And yeah. the sauces. And the sauces were good. It's ironic, isn't it? Because a lot of people say originally Tim Hortons was mainly desserts and, and chocolate. Uh, chocolate. And coffee. Yeah. And actually, we're preferring the hot food now. And that shows it's a good move from them to, yeah. like, sometimes you need to expand. I think, personally, I would either get the pancakes or I would get a single donut. Mm. I just think that's a better experience than the little bits. I and think I do this think, is fun, yeah. but I just don't think they're as good as what you expect them or to Or say, be. like, you're meeting your family and you pick up a few coffees for everyone and you pick it's just easy to pick up a mm -hmm. pack of 20 tin bits take them everyone can have a little bite yeah. of something 
as opposed to being like, okay, what donut does Kate like? What donut does Holly like? What donut will dad want? Yeah. And what donut will mum like? And it means you can share. Yeah. Whereas some people don't like to cut donuts in half. And also, if you knew you had just like two that you liked, I feel like you could just say, can I have 10 of these, 10 of yeah. these? And I think it's also a good branding thing for Tim Hortons. Yeah. That it's like new and interesting and the people who live around here Oh, let's we'll try like, Oh, let's go get some Timbit. But overall, what are you giving the Timbit? On average, a 7 out of 10. Yeah. There were some that were slightly better, some that were slightly worse, but as an experience, I'd say they're 7. Yeah, six and a half, seven to me. I'll give your donut 8. I preferred your donut to the Timbits. Yeah. Definitely. I think my pancakes are 9 out of 10 because I just love it when you get pancakes and there's plenty of the, topping, and they were plenty so, of sauce, and they were yeah. so fluffy and pillowy and lovely that was the experience we wanted yeah do you know what they actually looked better than the photo on the on the thing they kind of did they, they did didn't yeah. they because they looked really dry on there i would give my donut a seven and a half if, if it was raspberry it might go eight and a half yeah my coffee's good yeah your coffee's better than my, my coffee. coffee's yeah. much better than yours but i really enjoyed it if i'm traveling or going somewhere and there's a tim hortons i think yeah. i will stop at a tim hortons i would definitely stop especially if i was traveling and it was early i really want to try their breakfast yeah. menu so i think we may need to come back try their breakfast stuff and see if they have any Christmas stuff coming up soon yeah, as well so definitely let us know are you a Tim Hortons fan what is your favorite thing to get there and maybe we can try that next time but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya